When a man found himself unable to care for his dog, he made the difficult decision to lead her deep into the forest and leave her there, rather than putting her up for adoption or taking her to a shelter. But years later, something unbelievable happened, something the lonely and abandoned dog could never have expected in a million years. Dakota was a beautiful and loving dog, fiercely loyal to her owner, Paul. Paul had adopted her as a puppy and raised her into a fine, strong dog. The pair enjoyed long walks together and spent their days side by side. Wherever Paul was, Dakota was too. They shared an ideal relationship, the perfect bond between a man and his dog. In addition to hunting with Dakota, Paul bred her with other dogs to produce puppies, which he sold for a considerable price once they were old enough. Dakota was a fantastic and devoted mother, caring for each of her puppies from birth until the moment they had to say goodbye. But there was something strange about Dakota. Her puppies looked a lot like wolves. She had once escaped and bred with a wolf, and her two litters since then had all looked like the wild predators in the forest. Paul was shocked, but he didn't mind. The puppies looked exotic and sold for a much higher price. Sadly, the day came when Dakota could no longer have puppies. She had given birth to four litters, each with four or five puppies. The repeated pregnancies were taking a toll on her body, and the vet strongly advised against breeding her again. Around this time, Paul and Dakota's relationship started to change. Paul became cold toward her and spent less time with her. It was as if he was slowly losing interest in his pet. One day, Paul took Dakota for a walk. They walked deep into the forest, over hills, through trees, and far beyond where they had ever gone before. And after a long walk, Paul took off her collar and threw a stick for her to chase. Dakota loved playing fetch and ran after the stick as soon as it left Paul's hand. She caught the stick, chewed it, and rolled with it in her mouth. And when she stood up, she noticed she was all alone. She looked around, quietly whining and then barking, calling for Paul but he was nowhere to be seen. She walked back the way they had come, but there was no sign of him. She was lost and alone. It slowly dawned on Dakota that she had been abandoned. With a heavy heart, she curled up in the leaves and fell asleep. When Dakota woke up, it was dark and cold. Her sense of smell told her she wasn't alone. She could smell another animal, or maybe more than one. Looking around, she strained her eyes to see in the darkness, and suddenly, a large gray wolf emerged from the shadows. Dakota didn't seem afraid and stood up to greet the wolf. Though she was a large dog, the wolf still towered over her. They sniffed each other for a long while before the wolf lay down. Dakota paused and then lay down next to him. It was clear the two animals were familiar with each other. This was the wolf Dakota had bred with several years ago. They remembered each other and felt a strange, deep bond. The wolf seemed to understand Dakota was in distress and promised to protect her. He was the leader of his pack. Other wolves approached and sniffed at Dakota, baring their teeth and snarling. But the leader snapped at them, putting them back in line. The pack soon understood that even though Dakota was a dog, she was now part of the pack, and they had to treat her as such. Over the next few months, Dakota became fully accepted into the pack. Though she missed Paul deeply, as days passed without him searching for her, it became clear he had abandoned her. She befriended all the wolves, playing and grooming with them, but her greatest talent was her nurturing spirit. Dakota had always been a superb mother during her own litters, and one day she had the chance to use her skills again. A female wolf had recently given birth, but succumbed to exhaustion after delivering three cubs. Dakota stepped in to care for them. She treated them like her own puppies, nursing, grooming, and teaching them vital life lessons. As the newborns grew into adorable young wolves, Dakota remained fiercely protective, feeling a deep sense of duty and pride. When the time came for them to leave and form their own pack, she felt the same sorrow she had felt whenever Paul had taken away her own puppies. Years passed and one day Dakota decided to stretch her legs in the forest. She still enjoyed walking and running as fast as she could, playing games like she used to with Paul. However, she didn't realize she had wandered too far from her pack and into another pack's territory. This was perilous for a dog like Dakota. Unaware, Dakota happily strolled until she sensed eyes watching her from the trees. Gradually, several wolves emerged and closed in around her. The unfamiliar pack saw her as easy prey in their domain. Dakota whimpered softly as the menacing wolves surrounded her. Trapped and fearful, she knew escape was impossible. It seemed inevitable that the poor dog would meet a grim fate at the hands of the hungry wolves. According to legend, right before birth, 
A person's entire life flashes before their eyes in a single moment. Such was the case for Dakota, whose mind raced through vivid memories. She recalled the joy of being adopted by Paul, cherishing their time together, and the pride of nurturing countless litters of puppies. Yet amidst these fond recollections, a pang of betrayal surfaced, the day Paul abandoned her in the heart of the forest. However, Dakota's memories didn't stop at that point. She clearly recalled the momentous meeting with the wolf. To her surprise, the wolf accepted her into their pack without any hostility. She recalled the warmth of their acceptance, the shared responsibilities of nurturing wolf cubs as her own, and the deep bond that grew among them. Now, surrounded by the very pack she had come to love and protect, Dakota closed her eyes. She awaited the inevitable pounce of the wolves, accepting her fate with a mixture of resignation and a lingering sense of peace. Unexpectedly, Dakota's tense standoff took a dramatic turn as a sudden noise shattered the forest silence. Three formidable wolves burst forth from the shadows, launching themselves at the pack encircling her. Chaos erupted as the startled wolf pack turned to confront their assailants. They showed their teeth and slashed with their claws, fighting fiercely against the new wolves who fought just as hard. For Dakota, lying low amidst the turmoil, every moment felt agonizingly long as she prayed not to be caught in the crossfire. After a prolonged struggle, the strange pack, now visibly weakened, retreated in defeat. Dakota dared to look up, and there, standing triumphant before her, were three wolves whose size and courage were unmistakable. They were the very cubs she had once cared for and nurtured. Although now grown and towering over her, their loyalty and bond remained intact. Dakota's tail wagged uncontrollably as she dashed towards them, showering each with affectionate licks. In that pivotal moment, it became clear they saw her not just a member, but as the mother figure they had yearned for. Their act of bravery had saved her life, a debt of gratitude repaid in full by the children she had once selfishly cared for. This powerful moment showed something very important. Humans might leave animals behind or treat them badly, but animals themselves have a strong sense of loyalty and kindness towards each other. Even though they're different kinds of animals, even if they are far apart or in different times, they have a natural ability to care for and defend each other when they face challenges. What happened makes us wonder, are animals really as simple as we think? Or is it that we humans don't fully understand their feelings and how connected they can be? This makes us think again about what we believe and how we see animals' intelligence and caring nature. In the end, it depends on how each person sees things. If we understand the close relationships and kind deeds animals show, it shows how well we grasp their lives and feelings. How did this remarkable story resonate with you? Could you ever find the strength to leave behind a beloved pet if circumstances demanded it? We value your insights and perspectives, so please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below.